Hey, it's getting late and I uh, thought I'd make a video here. I haven't done this for probably about a year or so, honestly. And there's a lot of reasons why I haven't and most of them were just that uh, life's just been kind of uh, not in conducive for doing things like this. It just seems like when I do make videos, it seems to create problems in my personal life. And uh, I don't even know if I'm going to post this necessarily, but I just thought I'd try to get back to it since life has changed so much. Um, it's been changing an awful lot, really, for the last eight or ten years. It's been um, anything but consistent, you know. I mean, with COVID and the first seal of Revelations opening and that going out and taking over the whole world and uh, just really changing a lot of things in people's lives, even though it's pretty normal right now and has been for some time. It seems to me that, you know, I've been watching and watching. I, I was very surprised how long the COVID thing lasted. I thought it would be, you know, a year or two and just everything was going to get crazy and chaotic and the economy was going to die. But, you know, it just kind of stalled and pick back up and um, been working really hard since then and I think a lot of people were glad to be back to normal but I knew that uh, nothing nothing will ever be the same since then because I know certain things have uh, started and uh, that being the first seal of revelations and now you know it's October 13th 14th and it seems like maybe the second seal of revelations has uh just opened up with the uh, hamas israel thing if that spreads and creates kind of worldwide warfare then that will for sure be the second seal which is a bit sobering because you know uh covid started in 2020 and lasted to 23 23 it lasted i guess three and a half years and you know Right now, that seems like a long time. And so if this warfare thing opens up and it lasts another three years or so, maybe a little less, I don't know, a little less, a little more, then uh, going through these seals could be, you know, going through this process could be quite a while. Of course, we know there's like a seven-year period where it's just really hellacious, especially for those that want to serve the Lord. But um, nonetheless... I don't know when that period starts. I've been reading the scripture and I've looked at it so many times from what Jesus said in Matthew versus what the book of Revelation say, what the other scriptures say, just trying to find, you know, even the book of Daniel, uh, just trying to find like, you know, how is this going to like happen and what's the process? And right now there's just really not a timeline because the seals opening up is just something that only Jesus can do, and it only happens at his time. So, uh, you know, I prayed for a long time that we wouldn't be hung out to dry too long with all this stuff happening, because I thought it would be more traumatic when it did start. And for me, you know, the, the COVID thing was not traumatic at all. I mean, what was traumatic was watching how people reacted to it and how people were so scared and how people were looking at you with indifference maybe because you weren't wearing things like you were told to or because I don't know to me it was very divisive I really think it brought the church down and that the church really didn't do anything about it or have a proper stance on protecting the flocks you know from taking things that were detrimental to their very life in even their soul for that matter you know but uh you know, here we are at the end of that one and the beginning of the next one. And uh, I have found myself um, in a totally different situation. And if I remain in this situation, I'll probably make quite a few videos if they stay up, if uh, the platform exists, if it's worthwhile to some degree. I mean, it's not like I had a lot of uh, followers or anything, but I always felt like if you could like help a few people it's worth it so but you know my knowledge was just as limited as the next person's on the stuff because because you know I had no idea at 
what how soon it would be till the next one opened and I was just jumping at the bit for waiting for the next one you know years ago and just kind of fizzled out and uh it's it's been uh three a long three years a very long three years and uh hard working three years everybody's having to work harder now because things are getting more expensive and I'm sure with warfare things will get more expensive and we know that following this the next one is the one that is really going to hurt everybody because people are going to be broke absolutely broke so anyway um in the past i've been just wondering how you know the saints of god would wind up in the wilderness like uh, how is that going to happen and where is that going to be is that just general and it, it's got to be because there's saints in all the countries of the world really and they're all going to wind up in the wilderness somehow <laughs> because society is going to more and more and more hate you. And so if you find yourself being hated, uh, that's, it's okay. It's okay. Other people's opinions of you aren't the truth necessarily and really don't necessarily matter in the scheme of things. What matters is that you endure to the end and that you persevere and that somehow you keep your faith and hopefully your sanctification through the process of friends, family, and culture hating you to the point where you're no longer even able to properly exist in society. And I've been praying about it personally and asking the Lord that he would um, kind of put me on my feet so that uh, as knowing that one day that one day i'm going to wind up you know unable to exist in society with my faith and everything else that i would just kind of become get more practice at what i'm going to do in the wilderness i prayed for shelter you know and a few basic things and uh i've also told the lord years ago when i realized that you know, it just doesn't seem feasible that I'm going to be able to keep this house and this land I've got and the business and everything else through all of these things that are going to happen. So I need to be prepared to let them go. So I kind of repented for making an idol about my house and my survival plan and, you know, how I was going to do all these things. I was hoping to help the people around me and feed people and stuff like that. I just kind of repented because maybe I had a little bit of a hero complex being that I was kind of awake when most people weren't. Therefore, I would be in better position to help and prepare and everything like that. And so I've since kind of let go of all that. Not that I won't be able to help in the time of need for people that need it, but just let go of the fact that I just might not have that much myself. And I'm just hoping more than anything just to be on my feet in those days and in a working situation where like, you know, I can kind of uh, have things a little nicer than someone who wasn't paying attention and was trying to get like every last bit of this world as they can um, before they were finally ran off, kicked out, you know. But um, anyway, so my goal is actually to hopefully have like a hut or something on a little piece of land that's very isolated and uh have just a few things you know very very makeshift very very simple you know um, i'm just trying to learn about more about people that uh built their own homes out of what they had on the land and how they were um just learn to live with very little and spend little, very little money at it as well. Um, obviously very hard work, but, uh, you know, I don't know how long this economy is going to last anyway. It seems to be faltering right now. And, uh, but yet I have a feeling that it's going to continue going enough to keep people working <laughs> until like the planned time, in my opinion, to to just go ahead and bring it completely down. So I was surprised with how things went through with COVID that economically, you know, uh, yeah, inflation went up during that time significantly because they printed a lot of money. And I don't know, it's kind of a planned thing too, just to kind of start squeezing people a little bit at a time 
but I still look around everywhere I go and I see people just driving just very, very expensive vehicles, you know, and I, I just, I, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, well, how do these people afford these vehicles and the houses and the vacations and all the things they do? You know, I, I'm a very hard worker and I'm not unsuccessful. And yet, like, I could, I just, I couldn't spend that kind of money, you know, even if I, even if I could, I wouldn't. I mean, obviously, if you know what's ahead, your priorities will change and you're not going to be nearly as worldly and your 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 um treasures are not going to be vehicles and things like that that really don't have any value i guess in your life for the future it's just a very temporary thing so um i'm hoping that uh that the lord just kind of continues i prayed about it and he's kind of separated me from everything everybody and I've, I've been told it's my fault and that I'm just mean and not nice but uh you know this has just been going on for a long time and I'm actually at a place in life where I actually could kind of go in any direction I wanted to at a certain point here pretty quickly um don't really have the resources set aside for that yet but I'm I'm hoping that maybe I can uh, take off with enough resources to just kind of get a place that's kind of like nowhere and build a little place that kind of doesn't require a lot of money to keep up and uh, work whatever, whatever it requires. But uh, I think that's kind of the way of the future for the saints of God, for those that are going to stay true to him and, and try to get out of society before it collapses. Because I think, uh, I think the rule of thumb is going to be more people is more problems, especially in the society we have today where, I mean, I, I don't think it's just me and around me, but I just think it's everywhere. Cause that's all I hear anyway. We're just kind of narcissism rules, you know, and, uh, that's the world and it's people and it's, it's becoming dark really quickly. So, um, it's going to isolate you, it's isolating me, and it's going to isolate a lot of people. And that's the purpose of it. And that's their goal and purpose is to isolate and push us away. Probably take everything we've got without any, without any bad feelings or anything else. But uh, who knows, maybe the Lord will uh, provide us with a little way to, and time to kind of get our situation stabilized. But um Anyway, I just wanted to make a little video here, and I uh, hope everybody has a good night.